Hello and welcome to Photoshop for Beginners. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple green screen background. I'm also going to show you how to create a green screen overlay and lastly how to combine the two. So here's an example of something we're going to recreate where we have our green screen background which is this tee box on the golf course. We have our subject that we're going to photograph minus the green background and then we also have this overlay which is the trophy and that's going to be in front of the subject the background is going to be behind the subject so let me show you now how to recreate this type of green screen photo let's open up Photoshop and here is my green screen background so this is the tee box this is what I want the, to be behind the subject so the very first thing that I'm going to do though is file new and I'm going to create the new document for my templates, for my files. So I'm going to create this new document in inches, and it's going to be six by four, just standard uh, six inches by four inches, and it's going to be a 300 DPI resolution image, and this is just RGB. So I'm going to use these settings here, click on OK, and that's just gonna create this new white document. And so what I'm going to do is take this background layer, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to select all, edit, copy, and I'm just going to paste that, edit, paste, onto this new document that I've just created. If it wasn't the right size already, you can go to edit, free transform, and you can click on one of these points, and you can resize the image. Uh, see how this image is getting a little distorted right now? Press the shift key and hold the shift key down and it's going to make sure that the image doesn't get out of shape. So let's just make sure that it fills the background there. This is our background image. We're going to file save as. We're going to call this the background image. And we're going to save this as a JPEG because we want this to be behind the guest. So here's our background image, let's save that. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to create the overlay file, which is going to have to do with this file. And we want to place the trophy in a specific location so that when we shoot the guest, uh, we can go back to the example. The guest is going to take up most of the image here but then the trophy is going to be right about in the middle and we're going to have this person interact with the trophy and we want them to actually hold the trophy, put their arms up and hold the trophy. So the trophy is going to be, I'll open up the trophy file. Now I've already prepped this trophy file and I've already removed the background. So it's just the background, but all you would need to do is use the eraser tool and you would just simply remove the background of whatever image that you'd like to superimpose. And once you've isolated the image and you've removed the background, we can just select all again, edit, copy. We're going to go back to our document here. And remember, we've already saved this once as a background file. We're going to edit, paste, and here's our trophy. Let's do edit, free transform to adjust the size. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Hold the shift key so it doesn't get out of whack here. And let's make it a little bit smaller. And let's put it right about here. We can also go down here and rotate it. And let's just rotate it a little bit. And we're going to have the trophy sit right about there. And we're going to click on enter to save those changes. Now, we want to remove the background because this is just an overlay file. The only thing that this overlay is going to have in it is the trophy, but it's going to line up with the background. So we're going to remove the background over here in, from the layers, and we're also going to remo remove this white background because we want everything to shine through except for what's behind this trophy. So we want the person to shine through, we just want this trophy to be on top of them or slightly in front of them. So we have everything transparent except for this trophy. And we're now going to save this as a separate file as well. And that's file, save as, and we're going to save this as a PNG. We're gonna call this trophy, 
and we're going to save this as a PNG in this dropdown. And so now, because we saved this as a PNG and the other file as a JPEG, everything that's checkerboard here will shine through. And so we're going to have the PNG on top of the JPEG, and that's what we're going to use for our green screen background and our green screen overlay. And now we should have two files right here. Here's our background image with just the background. We're going to shoot the subject on top of this and we're also going to apply this overlay file. And the reason why this works is because they're both using the same dimensions. So this is, both of these images are, are using this uh, six by four dimension. So that's how everything's going to line up properly. So let's take a look at another example because this is a good one. But let's take a look at something like this, where we want to use green screen to superimpose somebody's face, let's say, inside of this helmet. So what we're going to do is we're going to make just an overlay, and the overlay is going to cover the entire photo except for the face, and that's what we're going to superimpose. So let's open up this file, right click, open with Photoshop. Let's open up this file, and once again, we need to create the document size that we're going to be working with. And so for these examples, file, new, we're going to be working with inches and we're going to be working with a six by four document at 300 DPI. Now we could change these around and do a four by six. I'm just showing you kind of general basic photo sizes. So that's six by four. 300 resolution, click on OK, and here is our white template. This is what we're going to use to create these files. So let's go back to our image, go to Select All, Edit, Copy. Let's go back to our template. We're going to Edit, Paste. And you can see that it's not quite the right size, so we're going to put it in the top left-hand corner, Edit, Free Transform, and holding the Shift key, we're going to make sure that we drag that down nice and perfect. So now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to duplicate this layer because we want to keep a copy of the original and we're going to hide the original and the background. So we only have this layer here and now all we need to do is erase the part that we want the green screen photo to shine through and so that's going to be the face and we're going to keep the helmet we're going to keep everything else we're only going to replace the face I'm going to take my magnifying glass I'm going to zoom in just so I can make some more accurate modifications to this photo click on the eraser tool and let's make our brush a little bit bigger right now it's 10 let's bump it up to 40 and let's just erase the face and I'm going to do this quickly, but you could spend a little bit more time doing this if you wanted a better result. Now that I'm getting closer to the edges, I'm going to create, I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller so it's easier to kind of trace the outline here. And if I click once, hold the shift key, click again, you can see it makes that straight line. And that can really help you out where you can see here this is almost a perfectly straight line I can just click once hold the shift key click again and it just it can save you a lot of time and it can give you some pretty straight lines and as you can see here it can really speed up how you trace the image so I'm just going to really quickly kind of trace this out and you know to be honest that's looking pretty good um, let me just finish up what's just finish this up here now if you make a mistake anywhere along the lines here and you have to go back you can go to edit undo and if you make two mistakes in a row or three edit undo edit step backwards edit step backwards alt control Z is the shortcut so just if in case you make any mistakes like I just did that's how you would kind of go back, take a step back. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this just because um, this is just for an example, but I'll go ahead and kind of complete the face removal. And so once I'm finished, 
there we go. So now if we zoom out, we can see that this is where we can superimpose somebody's face and we're going to save this now the way it is as a PNG. File, save as, we're gonna save this as Thor face, we're gonna save it as a PNG. And that's it, that's all we need to do. So we would take our shot of the subject, remove the green screen and apply this image as an overlay to that green screen photo that we just took and that would uh, superimpose somebody's face right here and it would make it look like they're the ones holding this hammer and they are in this scene. So I hope you were able to follow along and you understand how to create a background and an overlay. If you have any questions or comments, you know, of course, use the comments section below to ask those questions. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. In the next part, I'm going to show you how to convert a JPEG or a PNG to an EPS file. And that's a file with lines and vectors and all that good stuff that Illustrator would need as well as a lot of other programs. So thank you so much for watching.